Hey, get into NHL playoff betting with Sports Interaction. We got the third round on the way, baby. We got Colorado. We got Edmonton. It's going to be an exciting one. And then we'll see what happens with New York and Carolina. But uh, either way, it's going to be an amazing uh, Western and Eastern Conference final. Before the game starts, live in and play. Or how your favorite player will perform doing it right since 1997. It's Sports Interaction and it's Canada's sports book. With the most competitive odds, Sports Interaction makes it easy to deposit. Easy to play and easy to cash out. Join now and see that all, all that sports betting has to offer. It's sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. That's sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. 19 plus. Please play responsibly. So I went, I went to get my knee checked out mid-game. And uh, I was coming back to the rink. The game just ended. Walking down the hallway. Um, couldn't find a recycling bin on my way down the hallway and, and right before I went, walked into the locker room, I see him kind of doing the interview there, smiling, laughing, and I'm there in a knee brace, limping down the hallway and just felt like it was a God-given opportunity. Uh, I don't know, I could just stay silent and, and go in the room or I could say something and, you know, just have him look me in the eye and understand what's going on, something to think about and I just, yeah, through the uh, through the water bottle, an empty water bottle, <laughs> it landed like two feet from him. So it is what it is there, and I mean, but it is what it is. It's hockey, and it's a competitive game. So now, if this was just a water bottle thrown, oh god, right? If this was just a water bottle thrown, maybe the incident's a little bit lighter. But obviously, weighing on this is the fact that Nazem Kadri was attacked. All weekend, police were involved. You know, you know about the racist incidents. You also know that Jordan Bennington sent out tweets that were racist in nature, flat out. They were. Mm-hmm. They were a decade ago. Yeah. They were when he was a teenager. The, his, but the dislike of Jordan Bennington does not stem from he like fakes he fake punches guys. Right. It stems from that, and everything after that has built. Right. And so, so obviously, there's there's those those con those things color it. Right. Those things you know, add the heaviness to it that, that occurred. And the fact that the blues again, didn't say anything like the, the, the thing is the crazy They're shit. working on it. They're working. I like, I, I sent that tweet out cause I had a source. It, Adam, that's, we just talked about how it's going to take five years to change the rules. It's going to take a little bit longer to word a carefully worded press. Release. That racism's bad. Yeah. But I, but, but beyond all that, beyond all that, that was pretty good. Can I use that? <laughs> no, you can, you can, how about this end racism? Oh man, that's uh, even more concise. Yeah, do we like that? But but the, distracting from this particular point, the problem with Bennington is is a problem I see NHL wide on certain goalies. And I want to um, I want to quote one of my favorite Twitter accounts, uh, acting the Fulman. Uh, he tweeted this out yesterday. He said, "I might sound conservative here, but I think we as a society, and he's being tongue in cheek, have coddled goalies too much and too long, and the result is Jordan Bennington. Because here's what's going to happen next year. Okay, well, you, want, you mark me, okay." Next year, Kadri's going to play for somebody. We don't know who. Mm-hmm. And you know that whenever that team rolls through town, whether it's Colorado or somewhere else, um, it's gonna be bad. somebody on St. Louis is going to have to go after Kadri. And Bennington's going to be chirping them all game, but Bennington isn't going to have to throw a punch. My issue with Jordan Bennington is not Jordan Bennington being a notorious personality. I like notorious personalities. I don't love his history. I, will, I won't lie to you on that no. one. But I like personalities with the NHL. I love it. I don't give a shit that he threw an empty water bottle. I don't give a shit about that. I really don't care. I don't. It's the other shit around it. Yes. His, pers- he, his personality wasn't even good. No, it's not. But he's like, it's sort of like, it's. but here's, here's what it is. Such a good point. Here's what it is. Were you it's, entertained by it's that? It's not even that exciting, right? <laughs> but here's the thing. This is where you enter wiener territory. This is where you're a gigantic ween. <laughs> if you have a friend, you ever been to a bar with a friend of yours and they get a little belligerent when they're drinking? And you're all, you have to be the one that goes, okay, let's go home. Or, uh, or you have to stand up and go, hey, don't hit my friend. <laughs> and oh, I've been in both situations. Yeah. Jordan Bennington is the guy that starts the fight and then fucking walks away. He never has to stand up and actually answer for his own shit. So he can fake punch people. He could throw water bottles. He can do whatever he wants. And then he just fucking walks away. I've seen him do it time after time. Now, I know Blues fans love him. And I know they're going to hate me for this. But I am telling you, to the 31 other fan bases, and really for Blues fans who really get it, and I know you do, that is wiener material. 
It's a wiener move to go out there and start a bunch of shit and go, hey, Bertuzzo, can you deal with this? Thanks so much. I appreciate that. How many? What, he's going to get Robert Bertuzzo to beat him up? Kadri doesn't play for the Blues. <laughs> but <laughs> that's <bad>. listen, <laughs> l- listen, you know, I think they're just mad that, hey, when Bertuzzo made a comment after that, I want to be, hey, no one hurts my guys but us. <laughs> or but me. That's my job. That's um, <laughs> like, how many consenting fights have there been between a goalie and a skater in they're not our allowed. lifetime they're was, not allowed i was thinking like matthew barnaby beat up a guy but no that was matthew barnaby beating up a guy. like the only guy so, i think maybe ron hextall fought a player once and the and the flyers were probably like i'll let ron do it he's better at it than we are not that i recall like i what one i got one andrew peters versus ray emery oh yeah that that's happened. it because emery went at martin biron it was not a good match so I've never seen a team's enforcer have an honest to goodness fight with a goaltender. This is one of the wildest things I've ever seen. And anyone who's ever worn goalie equipment is wondering how the fuck did Emery do that um, without like completely getting his ass kicked. Um, yeah. Bennington is, he's not going to do anything, man. That's the thing, right? If he does, I'll be the first person to get on here and be like, holy shit. If he, if he air punched a guy and then made him fake and then fought him, I'd be like, okay, that's that's sort of badass right there. You know, faked you out, whatever. But this, like, it, what was the, there was a Corey Perry, Mike Richards fight from like junior where I think Mike Richards like tripped and they were all laughing at him. It was when he was playing for the Rangers and uh, Corey Perry was playing for the London Knights. It's one of the craziest oh, fights I've ever seen. Oh, I vaguely and then, remember this. And then like, and everybody's laughing at him, chanting, calling at him, Corey Perry's giving him, and then Mike Richards comes back and wails, yeah, just oh, goes yeah. nuts. And and the thing is, it's like, yeah, you can you could kind of make fun of a guy, but they all answer the bell except for Bennington. Yeah. And, be- and even if Bennington wanted to fight a guy, his teammates would not let him. And this mm-hmm. is the problem. So you want to go and you want to start shit and then walk away and then pretend you're a tough guy. You're not a tough guy. He's not a tough guy. Stop acting and playing like you're a tough guy. You're throwing water bottles. You're throwing fake punches. You're talking shit, but you're not going to do anything. You're going to run. I-, I think what you're saying is eventually you're going to run into someone who's just going to drop you. I don't think anybody will. No? I don't think anyone's going to touch him. I don't, because I think the Blues are fucking huge, and they'll kill you. That's a good point. Like, like you, do you want, like, okay, for, I said Portuzo. Do you want Ryan O'Reilly to meet you at center ice the next time? Braden Shen's a big boy. Oh, yeah. Even with multiple rib injuries. Yeah. There's, there, they were slower than Colorado, but they're a fucking tough team, man. I don't know. Like, this is the thing, and that's why people are like, oh, what's the problem? Why don't you guys like Bennington? That shit. No one likes a guy who comes in, starts a fight, and lets his buddies clean it up. Well, and like he did it to like, wasn't it Eric Carlson? Did he? Or it was like Eric Carlson or like he, he like fake punched Vili Uso and the, the stick swing by the face. I, I think that might have been Kadri. And like someone one day is just going to do it. And they might get their yeah. ass kicked after. But someone someday is just going to do it. And you guys don't have a problem with the water bottle thing. But I think the water bottle lends to exactly what you're saying. He's, he threw yeah, a water bottle yeah. at a dude who's in the middle of a press conference who's not going to do anything. It's post-game. McCadre's not going to go fight him in the hallway or anything. Right. And he chucks a piece of plastic at it. That's a wiener move. It's wiener. That's yeah. A, that's think, wiener level. I think that's the exact point you're making. And it's just, it's all encompassing of who yeah. he is. Is it evil and sinister? And should he be locked up for it? No. no. But I, I, like, there's no legal term that, that, your honor, this man is a wiener. Yeah, and he also, in the press conference, he goes, it's part of hockey, you know, hockey's competitive. What part of hockey is throwing a water ball at somebody post-game? Who throws a shoe, honestly? <laughs> if, 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 uh, if there was like an ongoing rivalry between a couple players, and one of them threw a water bottle at another one, water in it or no water in it, during a press conference, I'd be like, that's kind of funny. I can't wait to see them go at it next time on the ice. Mm-hmm. But the reality was, Bennington wasn't going to play again. And even if he was playing... He wasn't going to be the one cleaning up that mess. And that's where it's like, and I'm not saying goalie shouldn't be competitive. I get that. I'm not saying but at a certain sh- point shouldn't be upset after getting injured either. No, you, I'm you know not saying I mean? that. Like, I totally at get no it. point have I said that. Listen, I get why he was frustrated, but I'm just, I just, it's wiener material, guys. Ween. And it just, cr- it's cringe. I understand you liking your guy. Listen, totally. Get I it. cheered for Nassim Kadri for many a year. Listen, we if, all did. if Brad Marchand was a Leaf, I'd have a jersey. Love him. But he's not. So do you see so why? Fuck him. Do you see how I could hate him then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, right? Like, whatever people were like, I hate Nazim Kadri. I'm like, listen, I get it. Uh huh. But no. <laughs> people used to hate Leo Kamra. 
Used to hate him. And listen, I get it, but no. That's right. Our rat. Islanders fans know. He's great. Well, uh, Jesse was, uh, he, he, he had the, uh, the Emery versus Peters fight playing. And do you, do you know the visceral feeling I felt when Patrick Coletta came on the screen? <sighs> but you know how many Sabres fans probably own his jersey? Oh, well, he was the only one worth cheering about. Oh, yeah, but he was such a legendary shithead for them. Yes, he was. For them. Art, the team that we cheer for, was on the other end of his shitheadery. So, of course, we hated him. Ramry's got a smile on his face this whole time. Yeah, because it's he beautiful. was... beautiful. Oh, he wanted it. Oh. But, well, because he, if I'm not mistaken, the lead up to this, I have a vague memory of this, is he had like a few near misses with getting into fights. Mm. And you could tell he was itching to get into one, which I don't get the impression Bennington is itching to get into a fight. And then he finally had this opportunity. Uh, there's a line brawl. Martin Biron obliges him, gets his ass kicked. And then Andrew Peters, after <laughs> easily winning his fight, I don't remember who it was. He, was, he just jerseyed the guy, right? Like it, yeah. the Sens player was no match for Andrew Peters. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, like Emery, and like, I don't know why Emery, like he's, he loves it, but like, dude, He's just getting punched by Peters. He can barely fight back because he's wearing goalie equipment. <laughs> That's the other thing, right? You can't goalies can't fight anymore because of their gigantic equipment. He's just like, I just want to fight anything. I don't care if I get my ass kicked. You I just want to be involved. Imagine yeah. Vasilevsky with his fucking huge ass pads trying to throw a fight. You'd just be like, it's like you know, it's like that kid from a Christmas story who's wearing the snowsuit that's too big. Yes. And uh, he just falls. Maggie, Maggie Simpson. Yeah, yeah, just it, a star. He, he'd be better off. Like just like getting into sumo stance and trying yeah. to bowl a guy. Hundred percent, hundred percent. By the way, Lindy you should. Ruff if you get the chance, line. we can't run the the footage obviously because it's NHL copyright. But if you get the chance, look up the Emery Peters Buron fight because at the end of it, Emery knocks Buron over, and then Buron Emery's like like as soon as Buron falls. Right here, uh, Buron falls. Emery's sort of like laughing, then he pins him or whatever. And then Emery's gonna get back up, and you're gonna see Buron just grab his pad <laughs> and, bring and him pull back it out. Yeah. Like, no, I was no. Zero, <laughs> yeah. he just trips him, and then he walks away, and yeah, Emery's laughing. Anyway, crazy stuff. It's so a good. very good fight. So